But first, Texas Tech's radio coach fired for alleged misconduct, but tonight he tells only us that it's not at all what one might think. Thanks so much for being with us again. I'm Matt Stell. Terry has the night off. After almost four years at the helm, Jarrett Hofstetter is out of a job tonight. Kelby K's Catherine Campbell has been following that story for us, and Cat Texas Tech is explaining uh, their decision tonight with a statement, right? Yes, Matt. So Texas Tech has released a statement saying after an extensive review regarding multiple concerns, Jared Hofstetter was terminated as the Texas Tech rodeo coach for misconduct effective September 5th, 2024. Because this is a personnel issue, Texas Tech University will not comment further on this matter and the search for a new coach is underway and we're committed to supporting our students throughout this transition. Now, I got to sit down with Jared to hear his side of the story and he tells me he thinks this is all a big misunderstanding. There's a lot of hurt people. Like it, it, we were doing a lot of great things, and uh, and honestly, by to university rules and standards, I don't know that an elite rodeo program is even a realistic possibility. Jared Hofstetter says, for the last couple of years, he's felt that Texas Tech has actively tried to push him out of his job as Texas Tech's rodeo coach. It has been a constant, constant fight for four years. Um, ever since there's been a change in the chair position of the Ag Department. Hofstetter tells me that this is all about him being held accountable for livestock that was located on and off of the Texas Tech property. Everybody had full knowledge that there was cattle off-site for a quarantine and we kept all the sick animals off-site to keep other animals from getting sick. He says that he and his team didn't have books for the cattle off-site but that the team was still responsible for them. Something that Hofstetter says Texas Tech was aware of but claims he's now been let go because of that. They don't believe that my books were done correctly. And, you know, and, and, and that's a hard thing for me because their vets come out and check my books every week. So I get, I get the short end of the stick on that. Hofstetter says his main disappointment has come from letting people down that have invested their time and money into the program. I'm not worried about my job, but I'm very worried for the support of what we've done. Outside of the trophies and awards, Hofstetter says what they've done for kids outside of Texas Tech has been his favorite accomplishment. And I didn't even realize what I was doing. I, I will miss that side of it. Um, I, I will not miss dealing with the university. <laughs> I, there's a huge weight lifted off my shoulders there. And he already has planned what he wants to do next. There's a, a new organization called Behind the Shoots and I want to really get involved with them and help them support all these kids and everything we've started. I'm, I'm going to take all my frustration with uh, what's happened and I want to put it into that and I do not want to leave these kids hanging or left out to dry. Hofstetter says it's been a fun ride, especially to watch the opportunities they've gotten to give the kids.